In today's video, I want to take a look at one of the most peculiar format specifier there is in uh, the for the printf and scanf functions, and that is percent %n. So here, for example, if I try to printf a simple string, so this is a test string, but backslash n, this is backslash n, not percent %n, so this is not the same thing, but we get the string on the on the console, that's fine. What we can do is add the percent %n specifier somewhere in the string. So for example, here, if we add percent %n, and what does this, this actually takes in not a value as usually you would pass printf, right? If you would say percent %s, you would pass in a uh, string, percent %d, would, you would pass in an int. Here, you actually have to pass in a pointer to an int if you say percent %n. So what I'm going to do here is say int num and pass in the address of this num. Okay. And you'll notice that this guy is here, like right after the test. But if I launch this, well, you notice first things first that, of course, this is not going to work because it says that the n format specifier was disabled. So first in, at least in Visual C and uh, I think other compilers as well, you actually have to uh, explicitly enable it now. So to enable it, we have to say set printf count output. So this is a function that we have to call and we have to bring it, uh, give it a true. And if I try to launch this, you'll notice I get this is a test string, but you might notice that nothing goes, was added here. So we didn't get anything after the test, even though I have a format specifier there. That is because uh, this guy sort of acts as a uh, as an output for printf, right? So printf in its own, usually you just give it data and it prints it on the screen. But this time we actually don't give it data. Printf gives us data. What data? Well, this guy says store in the in this pointer that we give printf. We get we give to printf. Uh, store the number of characters written so far. So if I try to print f this num here, so let's say percent d backslash n uh, num, let's say here number of characters written. If I try to run this, you notice it says 14. So 14 characters was written up until this percent n. And if we actually count them, there's four, there's seven, there's nine, 10, and 14 right there. So, so if you ever encounter this percent n, you now know what it does. It basically outputs this bit of information to our pointer here. And if we launch this, we're not gonna get anything instead of percent n. We're just gonna get that uh, number of characters inside our num here. Now, as you might notice, I had to actually call a specific function to enable this percent %n. That's because uh, this percent %n is considered inherently uh, unsafe, right? It can cause, uh, basically it can cause some buffer overflows if you're not careful, especially if you're dealing with user input. So since this guy modifies a, an address in memory, if before this guy, Right. Before this percent n, there's some string that can be modified by the user. You can actually make it overflow, right? And it's gonna actually write on top of existing memory, and that could actually create some uh, security holes, right? So this is uh, basically disabled by default for this reason. Now, do note that if you actually need a number of characters written from printf printf actually does return the number of characters written, but it is a total. So here, if I remove the percent %n and also remove this uh, parameter here and say num equals the return value of printf, if I launch this, I'm gonna actually get 22. So that's the total number of characters written uh, with printf. So here, but you cannot actually have uh, a uh, the number of characters written after a certain uh, character, like we had with percent n. So it was like percent n was like right at the end here. Right? This is the only behavior you can get. 
a workaround is of course to like uh, separate the strings into two printf calls and then you can actually get the number of characters print uh, written but that's another story uh, this video was just to show you what percent n is about and to have for you to have an idea of uh, what it actually does if you ever see it in a wild it is not recommended to use it please do not use it please try as much to get the return statement the return value of printf that is much more secure and it doesn't actually allow for many uh, security holes uh, same thing actually applies to scanf so if i for example if i change this to be a scanf so like this say percent d like that and i say i want to read inside our x here so the address of x i can actually add a percent n here and also read into this uh, num variable and also add the underscore s so that the <laughs> the compiler doesn't actually complain about this but you can uh, this, this applies to both of them so if i try to run this if i type in a number let's say 340 you'll notice that well the number of characters this is red you should say red is three right so here let me change this Red. If I launch this again, 1,200, we're going to get four characters read from the console. So this can be used uh, again with scanf. Now with scanf, you cannot actually just get the return value of it and uh, call it like the number of characters. Because scanf, what it returns is instead of the number of characters that it read, it actually returns the number of items, the number of arguments it actually filled with data so in our case if we didn't have this percent n at all this guy will either return one or zero so that's it so it would return one if it was able to read uh an integer and zero otherwise and that's it i hope you got something out of this video if you do encounter this percent n in the wild ever again you will have some sort of idea of what it does and please 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 Try to not use it as it's not secure. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Take care. Bye.